Hello everyone, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. We do everything solar installation, everything in Vata installation, everything going green. And today guys, we're trying to run a test on these two solar panels before you. These are the two types of solar panels. Right here, this guy is a monocrystalline panel and this guy is a polycrystalline panel. All right, so every single article, every single literature, if you had to do your own research, you are probably going to be getting the same answer, which is that a monocrystalline is more efficient than a polycrystalline. And this is largely owed to the very painstaking process of having to produce one single monocrystalline panel by using a single crystal silicon to produce it. The intricate cutting through wafers, but that's essentially a story for a different day. But this guy, a polycrystalline panel, uh, multiple fragments of crystal silicons were used in producing this panel. So is that judged to be less expensive to produce and of course, less expensive to buy. This guy, more expensive to produce and of course, more expensive to buy. So let's put the two to the test. To be able to run this test, we've provided for you two MPPT solar charge controllers here. All right, so this when connected with this your regular car battery that's 75 amps 12 volts when they're connected it will form the load all right so we've also provided for you two dc circuit breakers all right and in between the two dc circuit breakers you have um a 150 amps watt meter so this guy is going to be showing us the ratings and the readings as the sun comes down on the solar panels while the source input here is going to be connected directly to the solar panels all right so um this guy is going to go to the positive terminal of the um solar panels and of course this will go to the negative panels uh negative terminals so we'll connect all this together then we'll find out for ourselves which is going to give us a better out so come on guys let's get out of the sun and find out which is going to give us a better output which do you think is going to give us a better output is it going to be the monocrystalline or is it going to be the polycrystalline let's put it to the test right now let's look at the energy level that is coming in right now from the monocrystalline panel we're getting 73 watts for the monocrystalline panel Let's look at the energy level coming in for the polycrystalline panels. We are getting 83 watts from the polycrystalline panel. I must really say I'm very surprised by the uh, results that I'm getting. Ordinarily, one would have thought that the monocrystalline would do a better job than the polycrystalline but that doesn't seem to be the case today as the polycrystalline seems to be doing a better job today thank you guys so much for stopping by it's still smiling sun we do everything solar installation everything in vata installation everything going green we appreciate you stopping by see you guys in the next video